Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So recently I posted our travel video and you guys loved it. And I really appreciate your support. So many of you guys asked me for a editing breakdown. And to be honest, I was kinda confused. So I posted a poll in the community section and it seems you guys really want it. So here I am making the editing breakdown of the Darjeeling video. In this video, I am going to share my workflow and how I edit my cinematic videos. It's completely my style and it's not going to be perfect for everyone. Okay, so now let's start the video and I'm going to make this video in three parts. The first part is making the bass. Now what I mean by that is placing the footage according to your music in one single timeline and making the transitions. The second part is obviously the sound design and the third part is color correction. Now take a little bit of time and let's talk about the title. You guys really love the title and the animation of going through it. So this is a very simple trick and I have made this on After Effects and I have already posted a tutorial of After Effects how to make this kind of title a long back ago. I will link here if you want to watch you can watch it after watching this video. And as you can see I have used a little bit of speed ramping to sell this effect and this is a totally different footage. So it will give you a look like the drone is going forward, the writing happen and the drone goes between the E and reaches somewhere else. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys really interested to learn how to make this kind of effect. I will make dedicated video about that. So now let's talk about the first step. So now let's talk about the first part which is shorting the files and placing them in a single timeline with your music and adding the transition. Okay, so now let's go through my timeline and let me show you how I arrange my timeline. Okay, so this is my full timeline for the Darjeeling video and now let me show you from the top to bottom how I arrange all the files. Now as you can see the first row is a single adjustment layer. I use this layer for the crop overlay, the cinematic crop overlay and the second row is for, so these are all little adjustment layers cut according to the footage overlay and color graded and that really helps a lot okay so now this four row has all the video footage some are shot on the nikon d750 we have another camera with us uh, that was maybe the nikon 5600 we have shot so many things on our mobile and obviously the drone footage as well so this four row is just for video footage so now let's see what's going on in the audio section and as you can see all the file in the first three row are color labeled with green color that means these are all sound effects and as you can see the files in the last two row are colored with orange that means they are the basic tracks I mean the soundtracks and the markers are the beats. Okay, so first of all, I don't use this sound effects. I just put my music on the timeline and and arrange all the footage in a single timeline and make all the transitions. And as I have said earlier, I don't use transition that much. I really don't like heavy transition videos. So I use very subtle, very subtle transitions. Like here I have used one swipe up and I think I have used one here yeah here I have used one single zoom out as you can see this is the footage and here is the zoom out transition now you have arranged all your video files according to your music and made the transitions now you need to focus on the second step the second step is sound design. Okay, so now if you have okay, so now if you have arranged all the video files according to your music and placed them in a single timeline, 
and you have made all the transitions you are good to go in the second step the second step is sound designing so now we are in the second step and the second step is sound designing so we can't go in depth in the sound designing now I am going to play this full video with just sound effects without any kind of music so you guys can watch and learn how I have used the sound effects in the video and obviously I will show you the timeline with it so it will help you to understand. Oh, amazing, amazing. <laughs> So I think you guys enjoyed the video without any kind of music track and, and I hope this part will help you to understand the basics of sound designing and the sound designing is a very crucial subject while making a video. If you want an in-depth video in sound designing, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to make a full tutorial on sound designing. Okay, so now let's talk about the color grading. Here we are in the third part of this video talking about the color correction. Now you have arranged all the video files according to your music. You have made the transitions. You have made some cool sound designing stuff. And now your video is quite ready. But there is still something missing. Now the missing part is the color grading. Now we can't go in depth in color grading in this video in this video because this video is already quite long and color grading is really a very vast thing 
now i'm going to show you side by side with color grading and without color grading the whole video and i hope that will help you to understand the importance to grade your footage So you guys enjoyed it and I think this will help you to understand the importance of color grading. Now if you guys want a in-depth video about color grading your footage in Premiere Pro let me know in the comment section below then I will make a dedicated video about color grading. So that's it for today's video and I hope you have learned something from this and I hope this video will be helpful for you and if you have enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button that really motivates me to make new videos and if you are new here please consider subscribing to watch more contents like that. So that's it for today's video see you guys in the next one till then tada stay home stay safe.